Seven people die from overdoses every hour in America. Yes, yeah, some Denver City leaders are considering a controversial plan, giving heroin addicts their own safe place to shoot up. Investigator Brian Moss has been looking at this heroin fix, and Brian, this is certainly a tough topic. Karen, it's contentious and it's certainly provocative, but the idea is to save lives. What's being considered here in Denver are called SIFs, safe injection facilities, places where drug and heroin addicts can go, safely shoot up, presumably not overdose, and not die. In the heart of Denver's Civic Center Park, we found Megan leaving this porta potty where she had just shot up. Meth and a little bit of heroin. Many overdose deaths in Denver occur when addicts like Megan shoot up alone and there's no help when they overdose. Last year, more than 900 people overdosed in Colorado, a new record. Dead drug users do not have the opportunity for recovery. Across the street from the state capitol, Lisa Ravel runs a needle exchange already providing addicts with syringes. So you're giving people everything they need here to do heroin? Correct. To prevent and eliminate the transmission of HIV and hepatitis C in our community. She says users are going to shoot up anyway. So providing them with clean needles. Sterile water is really essential. And other paraphernalia keeps them alive and stops the spread of disease and death. Some people are going to say, this is nuts. You're doing everything you can to encourage people to use heroin. Nope, people are already using. I'm making it safer and healthier. We're trying to do something different. And now something really different. She believes it's now time to set up supervised injection facilities, SIFs where addicts can get off the street and shoot up under medical supervision, something already being done in Vancouver, Canada. He was actually just right out here on Could it work here? These Dan Scales thinks so, moved. especially after someone OD'd uh, in the bathroom of his pharmacy. He had a slouch forward, um, far enough to the point where he hit his head on the ground. Scales now represents a Denver business coalition backing the idea of establishing SIFs here. It's high time that we started you know, doing something in the medical society. Denver Medical Society, also on board. And City Council President Albus Brooks backs the idea after becoming dependent on opioids while battling cancer. I had to meet with my doctors to figure out how to get off of it. We traveled to Vancouver to see how well these supervised injection facilities are working. We found part of the answer here in what's called Death Alley. Tonight at 10, we'll take you to Vancouver and to Death Alley. You'll be able to decide for yourself if these SIFs are something that should be implemented in Denver. Covering Colorado first, Brian Moss, CBS 4 News. Brian, we cannot wait to see that. Thank you.